guys, it's Sean with Bro Science Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to show you guys what my typical breakfast looks like. Um, probably about 90% of the days, this is what I eat for breakfast. Um, as you guys saw this morning, I did my second cardio session of the week, and about 30 to 45 minutes later, that's when I would eat my first, uh, my first meal of the day. So uh, check out the ingredients here. I've got some spinach. Uh, that's about a quarter of a serving there, about 25 grams. Um, I'm going to dice up two ounces of bell pepper, about two ounces of onion here, uh, half a tomato, and then I've got a pretty nasty looking avocado. Let's kind of cut this with a plastic knife this morning. So um, looks kind of messed up. And then some low fat Swiss cheese, four eggs. I, I use egg whites to keep the fat content a little low uh, when I'm cutting. And then I also use these morning star patties uh, vegetarian but the macros on these things are amazing oh, the box is kind of falling apart here but if you check out the nutrition facts there it's got about I use two patties it's got about 80 calories per uh, patty only three grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein so I'm getting 20 grams of protein just from that alone so uh, really great stuff there so um, I'll just cut this stuff up real quick, show you how I prepare it. Um, with the veggies, I like to just quickly saute them a little bit in olive oil just to give them a little bit of taste. I also throw in some sweet basil and some fresh uh, some ground black pepper as well. And I've done this so many times over the last year or so that I don't even need to really measure this stuff out anymore, guys. I've uh, like I said, about 90% of my breakfast, 90% of the time, this is my breakfast meal. A little black pepper, and I've got some sweet basil here. I'm gonna add to it. This stuff really gives it a good flavor, guys, so if you wanna try it with the sweet basil, I highly recommend it. It really gives it a unique taste. Got a little bit of olive oil there. And I'm not going to cook this too much. I just, uh, just a couple minutes just to bring the flavor of the vegetables out. And while that's doing its thing right there, I'm going to get my eggs ready. So like I said, I typically do the egg whites um, while I'm in the cutting phase, and I like to use real eggs here. I've, I've experimented with the substitute, and it just for me it just doesn't cut it. It doesn't taste the same. Although if you guys do go with the whole egg, the yolk does have a lot of good nutrients and good fats and stuff like that in it. So um, if you guys like the, the egg yellows, you can always leave one in there. I've just got accustomed to not having it in there. So I get my, I get my fat from the avocados and almonds and stuff like that. So cut up the spinach, add that right into the bowl. And this thing actually comes out, it's got so many ingredients in it, it actually comes out looking more like a loaf of eggs with almost like a meatloaf type of meal. I'm gonna throw the sausage patties right here on the side. Get those start cooking. And the veggies are just about ready. And I just let the sausage patties cook enough to where they thawed out enough for me to uh, cut them up and throw them in the eggs. All right, so we just give this a little whisk with a fork just to kind of get it mixed up. It smells great already. You can smell the basil and the flavors of the, uh, the veggies really coming out there. 
Uh, for my cheese, guys, like I said, I use a, um, a low-fat Swiss cheese. We just picked this up from Costco. And I typically only use about half a slice. I find it's enough for me. It's uh, pretty low-fat content. I think that this cheese, one slice, is only four and a half grams of fat. Not too bad. So the sausage patties are ready. They're cooked enough to where I can easily cut them up into small little pieces here. Once those are cut up, I just simply add it to the rest of the mixture. And like I said, I have so many ingredients in here and only four egg whites. So it's just a really thick, comes out to a really thick loafy type of, uh, of meal here. So once again, just kind of mix those up. And I'll show you guys all the macros. I'll post all the macros on the screen here towards the end of the video. So it's ready to go. Uh, I quickly clean the pan out and it's heated up, ready to go here. So I just have some uh, some just generic olive oil nonstick coating there, cooking spray. Spray some of that in the pan. Throw the mixture right in there. I kind of spread it out because it's very thick. And we're just gonna let that cook. While that's cooking, I can do some cleanup. Uh, about five minutes on each side. The eggs cook fairly fast. Everything else in there is ready to go. So uh, we'll let that cook and clean clean up some of this mess here. All right, guys. So the omelet uh, was cooked on one side. I just flipped it over. I just split it in half and flipped it. That way, it's a little bit easier. Um, the cheese. I'm just tearing it up, and I just. I kind of tear it up with my hands here, just put it in random places, try to cover at least half of it because I'm going to flip this other half or just simply pick up the other half and put it right on top. Just like that. As you can see, it comes out to be a really thick omelet here, but it's loaded with protein, um, all kinds of good micronutrients from the spinach and the veggies in there. Um, a little bit of fat, not too much. So the omelet's done here. Like I said, it comes out pretty thick. So uh, I just topped this off with the avocado uh, that we cut up earlier. Like I said, I put some ketchup on top of it, a little, a little bit of hot sauce, and if you guys want to add some, uh, some more carbs to it, a piece of toast, whole, whole wheat toast or something like that, it makes for a really good meal. So um, macros will be posted on the screen here. And you guys should try this out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.